Stage 1. Setting up your worm factory. Your worm factory should include a base, a worm ladder, four trays, a lid, an instruction manual, a brick of core, worm bedding material, and an accessories kit, which include a handrake, a thermometer, and a scraper. First, place the base on a firm surface. Next, add your worm ladder into the base. The worm ladder is to assist worms that have fallen into the collection tray back into the working trays. Now we're ready to add the first tray. You'll notice that on the bottom of each tray there's a grid design. This allows worms to crawl up through the trays as they eat food. In the bottom of the first tray, add a single sheet of newspaper. This is the only time you'll do this. Next, we need to create the bedding. To create the bedding, mix half a brick of core with two to three handfuls of shredded paper. Place this in the bottom of the tray. Before adding the worms, we're going to add two to three handfuls of kitchen scraps into the bedding. Add this into the corners of the tray. Now we're ready to add the worms. If worms didn't come with your order, you can locate worms at findworms.com. When adding worms, make sure to place them away from the food. You'll see that they've acclimated to their new environment when they move into and around the new food. To keep the top layer moist, we're going to add a thick sheet of wet newspaper. This helps to keep the worms feeding at the top. Our Worm Factory 360 is now set up, but finding the right location is very important. The largest consideration is temperature. The temperature should be between 40 and 80 degrees. Protecting your Worm Factory 360 from any harsh elements will provide the best results. Mm -hmm.